With that warm weather right around the corner, we're so close to busting out the shorts. So this video is gonna be all about my favorite spring and summer essentials that I think are a must buy, or at least in my opinion, are my favorite items right now. And at the end of the video, I'll show off all of these items as well as the different fits and combinations that you can rock with them. So with that said, let's get into it. Now, first things first, what I'm most excited for is rocking shorts. And a good short that you should have this summer is a commission style short. This is a little bit dressier, it kind of looks like a golf short as well. I'm rocking these blue ones from Abercrombie here, and I think it's a really good fit. It looks good, and definitely for those nicer occasions where I wanna feel a little bit more dressed up, I think it is a good look. This is a slim fit short, so it's not too baggy. And most importantly, with shorts, you should try to have them above that knee line. So this is a seven inch inseam short, which is my personal preference. Five inches good too. I think nine inches just a little too long. So seven inches, that sweet spot for me. I also think this short in a tan color would be great. That's extremely common and like one of the most popular ones you'll see all around. I think if you also take a look at Lululemon as well as Cuts or Built, they have some really good shorts specifically around these with the same inseams too. Next up is gonna be a nice pull on short. And this is the type of short that can be dressed up or down depending on the scenario. I really love these shorts. They're really comfortable. These ones in particular are tapered and they're also from Abercrombie. You can throw on a collared shirt with it. You can wear a regular shirt. You can really wear it in pretty much any scenario. And again, they're super comfortable, but most importantly, they look stylish. Another crucial summertime and spring item are swim trunks. These are a five inch that I really love. Again, I got both of these at Abercrombie. If you can't tell, Abercrombie is definitely on the come up. So I would recommend going into your local store, just perusing and see if anything tickles your fancy because I've been really surprised going into Abercrombie in the last year or so and seeing the items that they have in there. Again, I think going a little bit shorter on the swim trunks is a clean look, especially once we get that tan going. Sorry in advance, I'm super pasty right now. Next up, I'm gonna throw in an athletic fit and that's gonna be the Lululemon Pace Breaker Short. The reason for this is sometimes I just like to keep it super casual, even if I'm just day drinking at the bar or hopping around town during the summer. These shorts are just extremely comfortable and they're really hard to beat. This is the carbon dust color. You can go with any way you like. I think black's hard to miss. Tan obviously is a great color as well, but it just fits into so many different combinations for outfits and I really, really love it. All right, so we're gonna keep the theme of bottoms, but we're gonna move into pants. I personally think that pants during the summer is still a move, especially when it comes to nighttime, when you're going to the bars or just out to dinners. I think pants just give you an elevated look. And for me, I've always just felt a little uncomfortable wearing shorts at the bar at night. So with that said, my top recommendation for pants this summer is gonna be the relaxed tapered trouser from Lululemon. This is an awesome pant. Right when I put it on, I kind of knew I had to get it. I love the look and for me personally, I think a little bit baggier of a pant in the summer allows for more breathability, which is obviously a good thing when it comes to being in hot weather. Also, the way the hem sits is right above where it would touch your shoe. So it's gonna be able to show off whatever shoe you're wearing as well, which is a really nice touch. It is tapered throughout the leg, so it's not too baggy, but it is certainly a bit looser of a pant. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum is a slim fit pant. I like that sporty and athletic look, and it's usually my comfort zone. However, I know it's not right for everybody. I personally would recommend the slim fit ABCs from Lululemon. I think you can't go wrong. It's just a really slick, clean look and a really high quality item. All right, mind blowing stuff here, but we're moving into tops and that's gonna just be a good essential tee. I can't overstate how important just a good looking, regular plain old tee will be. It's super versatile and more importantly, it just looks clean. Now you can certainly get a 40, 50, $60 plain tee and have it be really high quality and look good. But my personal favorite, again, is from Abercrombie and it's only about $20. So it's a really cheap tee if you can get them on sale. I would highly recommend it. You can even buy them as a pack at a cheaper cost. Next up, and another one of my favorite looks is a baggy tee. I think it looks really good. It definitely adds a little bit of like dimension and structure to your fit. I think a baggy tee looks really good with relaxed fit pants, slim pants, shorts. I think you can't go wrong and they're certainly in right now. My current favorites right now are the Nike Essential Premium Tee. It's a really nice fabric. I think the design and style of it is just perfect. If you're looking for something a little bit baggier, I know Carhartt is great, as well as the Abercrombie one, which I will show later on in the video as well. So definitely some options there, but a really good tip in terms of styling for summer. Next up is a nice collared shirt. This particular one is a camp collar shirt from Cuts, and I really like how it sits on my body and the colors that they offer as well. But another one that I think is great is from Abercrombie, and this one is a linen, which is great. 
because it is lightweight and it is more breathable too. It's an awesome way to get that elevated look, whether you're going out and about at night or just to a nice dinner. Now for summer, white is definitely in, and I think that holds true for shoes as well. So I wanted to recommend just a nice white simple shoe. It's so versatile, you will wear it almost every day. I promise you, I do. And I personally like wearing just a classic Converse. They're cheap and versatile. I went with the leather one here because it's way easier to keep clean if you go out at all and they get dirty, you just wipe them right off compared to the canvas where it's really hard to keep clean after just a few nights out. Thursday Boot is also a really popular brand for a nice clean white shoe. Common Projects, if you're really balling, is a great one to buy as well. Now certainly not ideal for that summertime heat, but at night maybe a little bit more applicable. I love a good high top. I think it's such a clean look, especially matched with the right pant or even shorts for that matter. I'm a big fan of the blazers, but chucks would be great as well. Even vans, whatever is your personal preference, I think throwing that into your wardrobe and mix is a really good option. So let's jump into fits and just show how we can kind of mix and match some of these items. And really you only need a handful of them and you can really make a lot of different outfit combinations, which is the best part of it. So first you'll see I'm rocking the camp collar shirt from Cuts, as well as the black pants, which are slim and white chucks. A little bit elevated, definitely could go out to a nice dinner or something like that. Now, if I wanted to change the look completely, but just switch out one item, I would add my classic white essential tee. And I think this is a really good look. Typically what I would go for more times than not, it's just classic, it's not too elevated, it's pretty casual as well. And then you could do this exact same thing with a white baggy tee if you prefer that look, or even add the black trousers and have them be baggy. So again, you can see how just mixing and matching very simple items can go a long way in your wardrobe. Again, changing up the shoe a little bit, if I wanted to throw on some pandas with this exact outfit, I don't think you can go wrong. Now that's what I really love about neutral colors is that you can just mix and match so easily without having too much of a headache or worrying about if you're matching or not. Next up is just a timeless classic look and that's going with the all black. You can't go wrong here. So here I have the baggy top from Abercrombie paired with the black pants yet again and white high tops. So again, I really like adding white tops into my wardrobe. It's just a little bit different and adds a different vibe certainly than a nice white simple shoe, which in my opinion is a little bit dressier, but always looks good. Moving right along, we're switching up those pants and adding in a tan pant, which again, tan just pretty much matches with anything. I paired this with my white colored top, and again, it's linen, super breathable, and I got that from Abercrombie. And with the white chucks, I think this matches the fit better because it is more of a, I don't wanna say classy, but certainly an elevated look and I think it definitely goes with the flow in terms of having a collared shirt. Now, if your preference isn't slim, then I would definitely switch it over to baggy and that's what I'll display here. So this is more of my baggy trousers, at least the type of baggy I feel comfortable in. They're still tapered and I think look really good because they hug the body. This is also paired with that linen collared top, really clean look and again, the chucks or whatever white simple shoe that you prefer. I think you can't go wrong with any of these looks personally, and these are all of my favorite essentials coming into spring and summertime. So with that, these are all of the items that I'm really excited to be wearing this spring and summer. I hope you found it helpful. If you could walk away with this video, just knowing one new item to add to your wardrobe, then it's a win for me. If you did find it helpful, throw it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want. I would really appreciate it. I do styling advice all the time, fashion, all of that good stuff and it would be great to have you along for the ride. So with that said, we'll catch you on the next one.